watch this. I am going to copy something, okay? So this hello world text, I'm just going to copy it. Great. Now I'm going to copy something else. Let's copy this is text over here. Great. Now, if I wanted to access hello world, I wouldn't be able to do so without having clipboard managers installed properly on Hyperland. Now that is exactly what I have configured here. So if I press a keybind, with the press of a keybind, I'm able to access whatever text that I want. And even if I wanted to access this one, all I'd have to do is just type hello world inside of the search menu, get access to it over here, and then I'd be able to paste it. Even though, if you do remember, this was the text that I had last copied. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing how you can set up something like this for yourself using only three simple programs. So you don't have to complicate it too much. Three programs that you're most likely already using and you should be done. Now, first thing we're going to be using is Cliphist, okay? Now, according to Hyperland's wiki, right? Cliphist utilizes Wayland with WL Clipboard, which is a library used to do clipboard stuff on Wayland. So if we take a look at what WL Clipboard is supposed to do here, it's a command line copy paste utility for Wayland. So it basically provides you with a bunch of utilities for that. It's not exactly a library perhaps, but still it gives you the same functionality. It gives you all the utilities you need. So you're going to utilize this in the form of Clipist, okay? And with this, what you can do with Clipist is you can store text, images, and any binary data. So even if you copy a binary file, let's say I create a file, let's say I write a C program, okay? Dash include, stdio.h.h and then you just continue with the rest of the c code okay and then i use gcc to compile my hello.c program what i get is an a.out file unless i rename the file okay and that file is going to be a binary file if i copy that file okay i'm going to be copying a binary file now clipist supports that so you can copy any binary data text or images that you want to that is why we're going to be using clipist in this case Okay, there are a bunch of other alternatives if you wanted to pick them, right? You can use Clipman, which use, utilizes Wayland with WL Clipboard support, same thing as here. But the only thing is it can support text only. So it can only store text. It cannot store any other form of data. You also have Clip Vault, Clips, and Copy Queue. Now, in this section, the only other thing that we could possibly need is WL Clip Persist. So chances are, if you've been using Linux and Hyperland for quite a while, you'll notice this little quirk where basically when you try and copy something from a particular app, great, it works. You're able to paste that thing how many ever times you want in whatever other different apps that you choose. Okay, that's amazing. But if for whatever reason, the first app that you did copy the text from ends up crashing or you end up accidentally closing the app or hell, even on purpose, right? You're no longer able to access whatever data that you had previously copied from that app, whether it be an image or text or any other binary file as we came across earlier. Now, in order for you to fix this, it's pretty simple. You just have to download WL Clip Persist. So when copying something on Wayland, copy data remains in the clipboard until the app is closed, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So if you want to fix that issue, where basically if you close an app, you're no longer able to access any contents that you copied from it. If you want to fix that, then all you have to do is just download WL Clip Persist. So you install this with this particular package on Arch Linux. It's going to be perhaps something different if you're on a different distro like Ubuntu or NixOS. But regardless, you just install it this way. Now, that's great. Next thing we want to do is, of course, set up Cliphist itself. So we're going to do that by typing in this exec once command and putting that inside of config hyper hyperland.com. In fact, let's show you where that's supposed to be. So if I open my hyperland config file, it's going to be in autostart.conf. And by the way, if you're wondering what this modules folder is all about, it's basically taking one file and then splitting it into multiple files. This makes maintenance a hell of a lot easier. And I cover this in more detail in the program, which is the first link in the description. I also show you how you can make custom theme switchers like this one inside of that program. So if you wanted to be able to make absolutely stunning theme switchers like these, right, with simple frameworks that you just had to basically plug and play into your own system, right? If you wanted to avoid all of the complexity that you would usually come with making something like this, and if you just wanted to follow a simple step-by-step -step framework in order to make something like this, I, that is exactly what I teach inside of Hyper Accelerator. In fact, let me just show you. So as you can see here in the system reforging section of Hyper Accelerator, if I scroll down to the theme switchers module, if I just press play here, 
as you can see this is a 2r module where i tell you exactly what theme switchers are the different kinds how to set up wallpaper based theme switching which is basically extracting the colors from your wallpaper and then using those colors in order to theme your setup that's one thing that you can do and i also teach you how you can set up custom theme switching with raw theme menus and scripts which is exactly what you're seeing here not just that but then i also teach how you can make hyperland into a desktop environment complete with a notification daemon over here with this slick animation as it opens up that along with a logout menu then a lock screen and little notifications or rather osds as we call them in, in the linux world whenever you do something like change the brightness or change the volume as you can see here they are all responsive widgets that work flawlessly all they need is a little bit of setting up right that is also something that i teach quite well inside of this program now if i just go here as you can see there is also the code part which i teach you how to do and don't just leave you with the dot files and then hope that you can figure it out on your own along with that i also give you my current setup as a bonus as a launch pad to jump start your journey with customizing hyperland to make it look something like this so if i show you my current dot files here meridian is a comprehensive hyperland environment which is what you see over here if you want to grab that as a bonus along with learning how to make a custom theme switcher like this one instead of just copying and pasting somebody else's dot files and then hoping that it ends up working on your system right if you want to actually follow a step-by-step -step framework that i showed you here genesis system reforging and finishing touches so if you want this you can go ahead click the first link in the description and i would love to help you out great now let's open this auto start config file and here as you can see i have already pasted in this command related to the clipboard manager now if we take a look at wl paste here there are two different commands that we've got one is for storing only text data the second one is for storing only image data you can launch both of these if you're sure that you're going to be copying text as well as image data but otherwise most likely nine times out of ten we're going to be copying text data almost all the time so i have just copied the first line until here okay and put that into my auto start section which is sourced by my main hyperline config file so wl paste type text watch clip hist store this command is going to launch clip hist and then make sure that it's watching your copied text okay there you go now in order to bind clip hist to a hotkey we're going to be using rafi okay you can use rafi d menu wafi or fuzzle Okay, you can use any of these apps you can also use walker if you have already started using it right you can use that as well but if i show you my key bind for rafi and how that works i can just show you here inside of modules binds.conf if i scroll down here there should be a section yeah there you go so for show clipboard history if i press mod shift v as you can see here these are the two elements that i've copied previously and that is why i see them over here so what this is going to do is basically execute clip hist list okay that command on its own is going to look like this 13 is going to be hello world 12 is going to be this is text awesome now we're going to take the output of this and then pipe it into d menu rafi in d menu mode so rafi dash d menu display columns 2 okay dash p search clipboard now the display columns is 2 because if you recall correctly the output of clip hist list is in the form of two columns but the theme that I'm using for Rafi over here in order to display both the custom theme switcher list as well as my clipboard history list, right? That does not support multiple columns, or rather it's configured in a way in which the second column is not quite showing. So I'm pretty sure even if we get rid of this columns thing, we should be just fine. Okay, there you go. It ends up working right as I end up removing it, but regardless, Let's just put that back because there's no reason for us to be able to see that. There you go. Perfect. Now, dash P stands for the prompt, which is search clipboard. That's what you see here. Then the theme is going to be this theme, which is local share Rafi themes minimal. And we're going to take all of this and then pipe that into clip hist decode. And then finally, if we select any of this, we're going to take that and, and then actually put it into the clipboard with WL copy. That's it. That is how you can show the clipboard history so we've done two things so far we have configured clip hist to work by putting inside putting it inside of our hyperland config file we have also created a key bind which allows us to access 
the clipboard whenever we want to, and that's fantastic. Now, what if we want to clear the clipboard? Because that's not exactly functionality that this Rofi menu is implementing quite well, if at all, right? Now, there is a last and final app that you can install with just one command called nwg clipman. Now, I have already installed this, so I'm not going to be repeating it. I can just press N here, but once you install this, you should get access to an app called Clipboard Manager. Very inconspicuously named Clipboard Manager, right? But its actual name is NWG Clipman. As you can see, if I type in the entire app's name, this is the only thing that shows up. So if I hit enter over here, as you can see, this is what I see when it comes to my clipboard history. And if I wanted to get rid of it, if I wanted to clear it all up, just pressing clear and then clicking clear would get rid of it all for me. Now, if I try and access it with the same keybind that you saw earlier, I'm not going to see anything because the clipboard history is completely clear and wiped. And that is how you can configure clipboard history on Hyperland as well. Now, this is not only specific to Hyperland, but if you're using Hyperland, chances are you're watching this channel. So I made it for Hyperland first. And also, if you want to learn how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, all without jumping through 283 different loopholes that I did in my four years of racing Hyperland, right? I've been through a lot of stuff. I've been through all the ups, all the downs, and I'm here to tell you that you don't have to go through the downs like I did pretty much at all, because I have created a framework that you can pretty easily follow in order to get a setup working like this as soon as possible, maybe even just a couple of hours from now. So if you want to set up exactly like this one in just one to two hours from now, right? You can go ahead, click the first link in the description, and you can check it out. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.